welcome back to Stress Free Woodworks. My name is James again. I'm here with my sister and now my brother-in-law. We actually had the wedding yesterday. It was a beautiful ceremony and that has been where my time has gone. Did y'all have a good time? Yeah. yeah. Venue turned out great? Awesome. Yep. All right. If you want to see some pictures of some of the uh, items that I built for the venue, you can check out my Instagram. It's at stressfreeww. I'll also throw some pictures in this video. But for the main reason why we're here today, they're going to help me announce the winners for the pin turning challenge. Sarah has seen a lot of the pins come in. Chad has too. And they have truly enjoyed them. Uh, go ahead and check out this still right here, this picture of all the pins. We have them laid out. There's still some more coming in. If you haven't mailed yours in, the address will be in the description below, but also in the screen right here. Well, it has some beautiful pins, like I said. If you haven't mailed them to me, send them to that address. I'm scheduled to ship these out. My contact, I got lined up for the two weeks from now. So you got two weeks to get them to me. And the first winner is? Corey Irwin, and he gets the gift certificate to Zach. And the Dust Right Lathe Hood. Uh, Corey had the best overall video. He had the purple heart pin and uh, he did some green screen work with uh, General Patton. It was a real neat twist on it. Corey, thank you for that. That's some real innovative thinking. Sarah's going to announce the second winner. Um, Tommy G. Carbide set. Tommy Gonzalez, he uh, put together a really beautiful patriotic pin. Uh, he wins the category of the most patriotic pin. Uh, you can check it out in the playlist. Beautiful pin kit, beautiful blank. Tommy uh, Gonzalez, you win the carbide tool set from Rockler. And I'll announce the third for the best overall pin is Dennis Conklin. And you win the turning set from Rockler. Uh, Dennis actually had a really neat approach. His pins turned out pretty cool. He took bottle caps and actually made them into his blank and then turned them down. And those just turned out amazing. Thank you, Dennis. And those were for our traditional lathe turning entries. For the non-traditional lathe turning entry, our first place from that goes to James Wright. He wins a turning set provided by Dave Gatton. There's another carbide P set from Rockler. Uh, James made a handmade pen using only hand tools. Really neat approach. I loved it. It was awesome. Uh, second goes to Moy Perez. You're the winner of a 2P10 uh, CA glue set and also a glue bot so we can get you out of that uh, old mustard bottle you use. But Moy, he actually built his own handmade lathe and then he custom made the blank and it just turned out beautiful. Well, I have a couple more prizes that I'm going to give away. I didn't mention these in the update videos because I wanted to see what you put out first. These were decided by me before the contest came out but I didn't announce them so that you would be creative and I would see your style. For our added categories, the first one is the very first entry that I got, and it goes to Orly Garcia. Orly Garcia turned out some amazing pins. Orly, you win a 10-piece slimline kit provided by Miter Mike, Michael Murray. Also, you get 20 blanks. The 20 blanks were provided by Chris Cute over at Make the First Cut. You also get a glue bot provided by Fast Cap. Thank you very much, Orly. All right, for our next added category is the most unique video. This video comes from Braxton Werflin. Braxton, you had a great approach on this. You did the rewind footage there. That was some awesome editing skills. Uh, turned out awesome. And you win another 10-piece slimline kit, a 10-pack slimline pin turning kit, a glue bot, and 20 blanks. The 10-piece slimline kit was provided by Michael Murray again over at Miter Mike's Workshop. The 20 blanks were provided by Chris Cute from Make the First Cut and Glue Bot from Fast Cap. And our last added category is an interesting approach to a non-traditional pin turning. Um, this entry really caught my eye. It was really unique. It was a very interesting approach. And that was from Shelly Cole over at Know What Mom Knows. She actually kind of mixed her skills from the kitchen into the creative world of woodworking and the entry that she made. Very unique pin approach. So, Shelly Cole, you win an Amazon gift card provided from Moy Perez. I would like to thank all the sponsors who have provided prizes for this challenge. I would like to thank everyone who has submitted a pin. 
you do not know how awesome this turned out this first year. Uh, although I didn't have as much involved with my video updates and online postings as I wanted to this year due to some scheduling conflicts, I really did appreciate all the turnout here and all the support. And the delays, I am sorry about those. It's just the transition from my military career to my civilian life has been rather hectic. And then I've had some priorities here with the family too that I had to take precedence. So thank you for being patient with me on this. Um, again, I'm sorry about not putting out more videos and keeping you updated as I should. From my family to you, we'd like to thank you for your service. Without you, this country couldn't operate the way it does. You're putting in selfless hours. You're putting in devoted time. You're being taken away from your families. And these two know as much as I do how hard that is on a family. So they would like to express their thanks to you also. I just want to say thank you so much for your service and giving us the ability to stay free and allowing us to have the life that we choose. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you so much for your service. Again, thank you so much for serving. We really do appreciate it. We know where you're at, what you're going through, and we hope this helps. Also, we'd like to thank everyone who has participated, supported, and sponsored this challenge. Next year, we're going to try to get it a little bit more organized. We know where we're going to go with this. We know what we need to do and what we don't need to do. Uh, first year around, a little bit hectic, but we figured it out. Time's going to be there next year. And we're going to try this again, give it a better shot. Again, thank you so much, and have a great day.